Hey, what's going on guys? Matt back here with another tutorial and today we're going to be looking at networking. Now this is going to be kind of basic networking because to make it properly work with an authoritative server you need to do some other stuff. But this is so you can get your games and you can shove them into a networking situation so you can play online with your friends but you don't want too big of a game or else it's going to get a bit laggy because effectively everybody's going to be running their own servers and telling everybody everything. So this is kind of the, the basic Unity networking starter if you want. Jumping straight in, I've got this set up so I've built my, I've done a build of my game and if I create a game say on here and I call it Matt's game and I give it, I can give it a password. I don't have to give it a password but I can so I'll just give it a password of Matt and then I can give it server info so I can say Team Deathmatch on blah and then I can name myself so I can call myself Tubular and then I'll press create and this I've only got a very basic kind of scene set up so I've got um, I can walk around I'm a cube I'm a big cube with a camera basically and then if I just tab over to the other scene I can play it in the editor and if I call myself it saves the name as well if I call myself Matt's here. I can find the game. And it's found the game here. It says how many players. It has the server info, the name of the game, and then the password, which I called Matt. And then if I don't press that path, enter that in, then it won't connect. If I enter it in and then press join, and I can join the game. And actually, if I swap over, because um, the screens are too big, really. If I just kind of drag this over a bit. You can see me moving around on the other screen, so um, that's a problem that people sometimes have and hopefully you guys will be able to have this too. So, looking into the scripts, we've got a networking script, a network view script and a player move script. Now each player, they need to have the network view script which is built into Unity where you go um, comp comp components miscellaneous network view and you have to add it to the player. Uh, you don't need to change anything, just leave it as it is. Um, we also need to add our scripts that I've added and basic kind of movement stuff and is in there as well um, stuff that I've done before so inside our networking script you can add this little f fancy little bit up here which is just at script execute in edit mode uh, open bracket close bracket you don't need a uh, semicolon at the end of that and what that does is it allows you to be able to see your your GUI uh, in the edit mode so you can kind of line stuff up better because it's more useful that way um, so we've got a variable of game name which is the name that I've called it Matt's Games for Testing, um, that you can call it whatever you want. Ideally, you want to call it something on its own, something that something that's be different from everybody else's. So a bunch of numbers if you want. And this won't show up anywhere. But what it does is it tells the Unity servers that this is the game that you're trying to enter. Now, if everybody had their game called Test, then you could join anybody else's game that's called Test, except you won't have the right assets and it'll mess everything up. So you need to name it something completely authentic, completely original. So next down we've got a variable of refreshing which is false and I'll explain that in a minute. Uh, we've got host data which is a host data with open, open square bracket and closed square bracket. Now that is part of the networking stuff that Unity has. So that is the data of the, of the server effectively, of, of servers that you find. Uh, then we've got our player prefab and then we've got two booleans for create, creating and joining. So if you press create or if you press join. Um, and then we've got our information, so we've got our server name, which is blank here because you, ed you enter it in later on. Info, password, uh, your, the client password, so when you join a game you have to press, you have to type in the fa password there as well. And then your overall player name, and then this is for, I could show you actually, but I'll, I'll leave it for now. It's basically, there's a big box, so when, if there's 50 servers and you, you want to be able to scroll down to view them all. Um, I've got that there as well. 